I started actually seeing classrooms when I was 19, so I was in different public schools and just observing and seeing what's going on in the classrooms. Helen Serafino is a second grade teacher with the California public school system. And in her five years of tenure, when everybody goes on summer vacation, Helen takes her teaching gear a level higher. AIM High is a five-week program for middle school students, um, for inner city kids who don't really have an opportunity. I mean, they do have opportunities at school, the regular schools, but here at AIM High. AIM High. But the school means something more to Helen because it guided her towards the pathway to teaching. AIM High gave me that opportunity to teach um, that I probably wouldn't have got until I decided, okay, I want to be a teacher, so I should go into a teacher credential program. Um, here, I experimented and I think I did well in it and that's what motivated me, motivated me to be a teacher. Helen faced the challenge of molding the minds of the youth short of gargantuan. I wasn't really comfortable in being in front of the class. I'm not a speaker. I, I don't like big crowds. Teaching has done a lot for me. More for myself, I've learned to be more confident in myself. Um, and I feel more comfortable with people. So in the process of being a teacher, I learn from my kids and they learn from me. So it's like a dual process that we give to each other all the time. But through the years, Helen has gotten better and she keeps coming back for more. My motivation, of course, are the kids. Just their motivation to learn, or just their, their desire to learn and wanting to know more. Um, that's my motivation to go in and teach every day. And during my school year, you have second graders who don't know how to add yet. They're still using their fingers. And at the end, they know their facts like that. In their head, you could see them like a light bulb, like, oh, I got it. It is said that a teacher's success does not lie in the trophies and plaques one has received. The real medal shines on the students they have taught. And even at a young age, Helen has already gained that honor. Because of Helen, you know, she's a great math teacher. I've been teaching math for four years, and I'm sure part of that's her fault. <laughs> I've seen the rewards of being a teacher. You know, like when, when you're working with a kid for a half hour on a math problem that they don't understand, and they finally get it, you feel it's, it's a very rewarding experience. I don't think it'd be right of me not to teach. Right. You know, I had great teachers and great models who set a standard for me, not only as a teacher and as a student, but even just as an everyday person. And I, it's kind of a responsibility. And I'm proud to say that now, instead of being their teacher, I'm, you know, I'm, their co -di I'm the director of the program, but they're my co-workers. And these kids that, you know, I saw them, I mean, they, they used to be shorter than me, then now they're like, they used two feet taller than me. It's just amazing how much they've grown and I think this, it's just amazing to see people growing um, and becoming adults. It's been 11 years for me now since being in a classroom. Um, I think being a real teacher in a classroom, I've been, I've been a teacher for five years and I feel this is my career, this is what I want to do in life. Um, hopefully, maybe I'll see my, my students teaching, then I can retire. A teacher's life may be tough. And there may be classroom stories that can really be scary. But for Helen Serafino, she has found her life's passion to enlighten the minds of young people so that each one becomes a torch of knowledge to brighten the future.